Oh, hey everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Leon tonight along with... ASM first make drink here and I... Oh, there you go. <laughs> and welcome back again to Return to Monkey Island. Uh, generally, I don't like to stream the same... Well, it, I, generally, I try to avoid more to stream the same game twice in the same day. But uh, yeah, since Commandos is, well, <laughs> being insubordinate, uh, yeah, I just wanted to something more relaxing. And we are getting closer and closer to the end of this game. I don't know how many more streams we might be able to get out of this, but I don't think we'll be able to finish it in this stream. I'd be surprised if we did. Yeah. And I still need to clip that line from Murray in the pocket. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hillian, let's be honest. Ain't basically all lines Murray says clippable? Yeah. <laughs> okay, oh, I forgot to start up the chat program. Uh, there it is. I really should try to make a, uh, a macro or something that automatically starts everything that I need or something. Okay. I'd no. like to buy and we need fish. hagfish. That's an excellent life decision, me lad. Today we've got hagfish, toadfish, slimehead, bloater, and lump sucker. What'll it be? Uh, hagfish it was. Hagfish. Here's a box full. Should be plenty. <laughs> you want to <laughs> tab for you? Sure. Thanks. <laughs> okay, I was about to ask you, are you really just going to hand over that much fish without him ask without asking him to pay? Okay. That's an amazing Wait. trophy you have there. Aye, that's a combination trophy and fly swatter. In case we ever get an insect infestation. <laughs> okay, I, I can see it with the fin and such, but I did not expect that. <laughs> what the heck? I also uh, wonder, did he have a... Oh, we've already there, but not you. Uh, did he have a tab with Wally? Uh, there wasn't talk of it, but uh, I'm guessing Wally just knows better uh, than to try and get Guybrush to pay for stuff. He'll just ruin someone's day or life. That we just don't. It might just be that we don't see him paying. Yeah, he he does have the little point purse here, and it would be a bit annoying to do that animation every time he buys something. <laughs> uh, Whilst we're here, let's actually chat with this guy. I'm closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. And... Hey, didn't I say the... To chat with them which, with this? I showed uh, this to well, other people who have them to start a storytelling session. Okay. Uh, my I misheard. What does it call, said that it was a he? Yeah, Sounds more... like a he. Hmm. I think that the term they used was deep, deep pirates, not a uh, man or female with it, but uh, oh well. All right, Matt, you just me misremembering. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time. Yes. My ship was swallowed by a whale. You know, what your story needs is a part to set the stage, to let us know what's going on and who the people are. It should come at the beginning, like a, um... A beginning? Like a beginning, exactly. Like, I was on the deck of a burning Spanish galleon with horse face and itchy jaw. And then all of a sudden, and then you take it from there. Want to give it a try? This is actually good storytelling okay. <laughs> advice. Yeah. Hey, Morgan. <laughs> so this, that basically confirms again. Again, I'm a bit unsure about where everything is in the timeline with this, but let's just presume it's at the end at the moment. Or guy, guy versus just fibbing the timeline. Yeah, let's... yeah for it, it would make sense for this to be after the tales, but then you had the problem is, well. Who the heck freed the... Uh, Le Shock? Yeah, from his milkshake bottle. <laughs> it wasn't that, but I definitely... You can bet that people would have wanted to shake that thing like a freaking Macarena. <laughs> yeah, for... I, I don't know... They have mentioned that some things might have been retconned out or changed. Maybe. 
The Pirate Hunter reach. Morgan Le Flay had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. Yeah, that's the way. Obviously, you're new at this, but don't worry. Other chums can show you more of the ropes. Okay. I get the feeling this would be a good way to get pick up some storytelling tips. Also, I like your character. Very helpful. Yeah. Just because they're a pirate doesn't mean they have to be a deuce bag. Indeed. Don't get any funny ideas while I'm away from the ship. No problem. I'll pretend I'm one of the writers. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> Very biting through the force wall. I went oh, to to you. Any information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons who destroyed the historic mop tree. I'll uh, keep an eye out for them. Yeah, you you deserve that. I don't know. I know it's a game, but still, it pissed me off what he did to the tree. He only needed one branch. Yeah. That's it. But no, he uh, assassinated it. Move shredded it. <laughs> and again, he did it with a bloody pocket knife. That he. He intentionally wore that thing down over and over. And look, we haven't been here. I completely overlooked this part. A leaning tree. For a dead uh, tree, it's a little too lively. That thing better not wall up us. I have flashbacks from Just the swamp of Valheim. Sounds a little creepy if you think about it too much. Hmm. Also, now that we have these, we can just land. Okay, it's lit. We can just light this up whenever we want to. Okay, I, ha I had half a feeling that the lamp would reveal that the island is just one big illusion or something. Okay. Just I'm not sure you... I want to know what happened here. I'll be fine as long as I don't lose my wits and keep my head. Hmm. One of these should have the key or something. Also, let's fix this thing. Just get you out of there and again. What the hell? What's up, guy? For you're completely going the wrong way. Also, that was oh, a skinny just noticed. pea tree. Uh, I think that's a jawbone. Yeah. And another. Hmm. I'm not sure I want to know what happened here. I'll be fine as long I feel as I... that a lot of dead animals are to wash up up here. Until you got just too much dark energy. Okay, there it is. We. It's not <laughs> one of the golden keys, but any key is a good key in my book. Did we just both completely overlook this whilst it was here earlier? Or while we were here earlier? I mean, not be surprised. We were probably too distracted <laughs> with the environment. Yeah, I, I, I think this we probably both thought it was a rib. Okay, new key, new lock. Did he just say not the other lock or something? Oh, and here is where we need this thing. Okay. Scorpion is on the wall. I wonder how good scorpions can actually crawl. Or uh, crawl on things that... It might depend on this PC. Warning, you are about to enter a maze of twisty passages, mostly very similar. Yeah, okay, so there's people lost in here. That's what it... Hello? Okay. And if we go... Hmm. What are those marks for? Like passages do not go? No, that sent us back here. That might... Hmm. And we're lost. And we're back out. Okay. It is merciful in that that it will just spit you out, it seems. Yeah. I forgot the, the name of it. I think I heard like, there was a old game that didn't do that. And uh, you could basically be stuck and need to restart from the beginning. Yeah, plenty of games. There are plenty of old games did that. Uh, okay, we can't even see, look at the mark or anything. Do we have... I think it got oh, so hello. bad that they had to stop it. 
X Y Z Z Y. Wow, neat! It's magic. Okay, the toilet ports us out. I was like, half expecting it to be the solution of getting us in. I guess you found you found your way out by accident then. Yeah. Hmm. So I guess there is a chance of you getting stuck in there. Unless you have that. It's Still, kind of good they have it to begin with. For I feel like, uh, I think in those days where they had these things that you could really get stuck in these labyrinth things, it got so bad that they basically just stopped doing it until they found solutions. Yeah. Okay, I have no idea what is up with the axes. Is that just not the way to go or something? That would be one way of marking places out. Like, I've gone this way, I didn't end up anywhere. So, no, don't go that way. It, that's actually it. Hooray! It says, warning, it's a long way around. Guybrush. Okay, you deserve some of this. And Herman? Huh? Lucky thing you landed Herman? on my bed. Herman Toothrot? I think so. It's been a while. You look worse for wear. <laughs> what? What? How do we keep running into this old bag? Wait, wait, wait. Time out, time out. Cord was dead. <laughs> I thought we found his bones in his old house. There was a skeleton and... in his old house. And which game was that? This one. Mm. If we're on Monkey Island here, on this game again. Oh, the, the, we, yeah, it, there it, were we, plenty of skeletons already on Monkey Island before that, even. Yeah, but we entered in his old house. And it seemed to be his old house. Yeah, I saw his skeleton yeah. and I forgot to say, oh, it seems Herman died. Uh, again, I uh, forgot to say that back then. But, uh, yeah, lo and behold. Yeah, that, that is something that we, that was missed, that we missed because we had to cancel uh, Escape from Monkey Island, but Herman got off the damn island with Guybrush and Elaine. So yeah, he wouldn't be there anymore. Hmm. Okay, kind of curious I that see. he didn't show up. Kind of curious that he didn't show up in any of the episodes of Tales of Monkey Island then. Hmm. Maybe he wasn't written in or had access to the voice actor. Could be. But, uh, how how the hell did you get in here? Have you been in this cave very long? Well, not in geologic terms. As a percentage of the total number of years of existence of the cave itself, it would be a small number. On a human scale, however, yes! It all depends on your perspective. <laughs> He's been in here since he got off Monkey Island, hasn't he? The heck? How does a person get out of this place? Typically, you don't. Are you freaked out by all the weird screaming in the caves? Oh, that's me. Just a little light entertainment and well-being work. Primal screaming is very therapeutic. Uh, try it. <laughs> uh, I have heard that that might actually be a thing, but I don't know if it actually works or not. I'm not the thing. type to shout. It's a thing. I did it once and it helped. Yeah, probably a good way to get frustration out of your body. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't typically shout, but when I do shout, it's very fucking loud. <laughs> so yeah. I gotta stay silent. <clears throat> Same, and I actually scared a smoker half to death. That was around uh, 40 meters away from me. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's also a good idea to do this kind of stuff far, far away from uh, civilization. <laughs> Yeah, I did it when I exited the school building, a dorm school building since I had, a, I had a little private room where I had some homework, but not homework, just work, and returned, and their laptop was stolen. Yeah, of course. Not It was the school laptop, but it was assigned to me. It was only a way to eat, but ever since that day, I took the laptop with me in a backpack. 
Me when I went to eat. Yeah, I, I just, I have, hmm, not sure if what's it specifically called, but it's a type of backpack, and typically I just keep all of my stuff in there, and that thing does not leave my body until I put it in something. So basically, you and me have the same thoughts. Yeah, once again. <laughs> okay, now let's hear Guybrush. Probably attempted. Ah! <laughs> you're right. Yeah, that feels good. What the heck was that? <laughs> that that was, was a scream. Yeah, that was more like he stubbed his toe or something and no, got annoyed. No, not even that. That was a groan. <laughs> Uh, I'm looking for a golden key. Sounds what like something I might have read in a book once. Are you a fictional character? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> Are you, Hillian? Mm. Am I? Mm. Can I get you anything? Out would be nice. <laughs> uh. What are all these scribbles? He has been here very long. My neo utilitarian manifesto. What now? Last time you were doing. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's a golden key. Why are you whispering? Uh, no touching! <laughs> okay, seems that Herman has gone a bit golem. You were hunting for the keys too. That's how you got stuck here. Is it? I suppose that would make sense. That's a golden key. Maybe it's mine. Let's make a deal for the key. I'm pretty sure I wanted it for a reason, but a decade or so in a dark cave can do funny things to your memory. So get me out of here and then I'll let you have the key. Yeah, he has been here since bloody escape from Monkey Island. Uh, poor bugger. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? Yeah, good point. If you let me have the key, then I'll get you out of the cave. That sounds good. As long as it's escape first, key afterward. Yeah, smart. Uh... <laughs> Just give me the key already. Now! How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? Are we going to be arguing with an insane, an insane man for like five minutes or so? Me having the key is for the greater good. For the greater good of you, certainly. Also, I don't. I'm not even sure Herman recognizes Guybrush. It needs to be key first, then escape. It needs to be escape first, then key. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, they're, they're going to break the lamp. Hmm. Oops. I'm eager to see how you're gonna get us out of here now. Uh, hmm. Good point. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh, don't tell me. Okay, I was half expecting there to suddenly be a bunch of TNT barrels. I was expecting monsters. Wanna hear a quote? Reginald unfurled the perfumed missive and slid his eyes along it. Oh, my lovely privateer, lend me your most private ear. And so it continued saucily. My sweetest lily pad, Reginald Hart. Well, that isn't getting me anywhere. Well, that isn't getting me anywhere. Oh, actually... The Reginald swooped and swirled with his ink pen. From XYZZY. <laughs> well, that wasn't so hard. What happened to Mr. Toothrot? When? Did you get him out of the cave? How'd you do it? That's not part of this story. Oh, okay. He's still, he's still in there, isn't he? That's a little dirty, but still one of the most beautiful keys I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, good luck, Herman. Uh, there's no such thing as a man-eating mushroom, right? 
Uh. <laughs> oh, poor Tooth Rot. I feel so sorry for him. Uh, I think we can change his name to Herman Brain Rot now, though. So, the Swabby says, the map or the bucket? <laughs> there are so many other things I could be doing right now. Why is that spell taking so long? Relax. Lila knows what she's doing. My mother always used to say, good pizza takes time. Well, that's idiotic. Are you insulting me, army mama? Yes. <laughs> now this seems worthwhile. And the unrest continues right among them. <clears throat> okay. I think that leaves one place where we know where you can, well, we can likely get a key, and that is uh, Lechuk's the ship. Oh, that uh, would make sense by... Anyone up there patrolling the deck? Ready to kick me into the sea? Sounds like the coast is clear. I hope. Unless it's a trap. You are a disgrace to the pirating profession. I'm more focused on the staying alive profession right now, thanks. So far, so uh. good. I have to say this. <laughs> this makes sense. I thought both key, two keys were on the island, but... This makes sense, says why all of us have this option to begin with, to sail here. Yeah. And, well, we didn't see a volcano on that planet over there. So, um... Obviously, I'm actually Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. Again. I assume that's your real skin this time? Yeah. Sorry for tricking you with the other two. Two? Uh, one. Math's not my best subject. Either way, don't worry about it. You're LeChuck's rival, not mine. I've got better things to worry about. Also, I enjoyed the book you brought me. What was the second? <laughs> Did, did Guyvers really just brain for it there, or am I forgetting something? Where is everybody? Flambe is up in the crow's nest. Odds are he's sleeping. Iron Rose said she was running an errand. The rest went with LeChuck on that other ship. Would that be Captain Madison's ship? I think that's right. Interesting. Yeah, because they couldn't board the yeah, guy. No, not guy. They couldn't board the ship. So yeah, you have to go with them. Hmm. Has Iron Rose been uh. back to the ship? She did come back for a bit, yeah. She was in a hurry, went below decks, then came right back up and left again. Very interesting. Okay, so that probably means that uh, she went somewhere else to hide the key. Uh, don't tell the Chuck I was here, okay? No, 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 don't worry. I wouldn't want to risk making him that angry. He gets a bit, um, scary. Yeah, and he'd probably just chuck you overboard. <laughs> Are you finished with the joke book yet? Emotionally, yes. It's not that long, and I've read it 16 times already. <laughs> okay. Hang in there, Bob. Still not funny. <laughs> also, uh, let's do a check. Yep. <laughs> Still there. Um, what the heck, Killian? Well, he was another Astros, so... <laughs> Uh -oh. Get more sophisticated every year. Hmm, would this be a good idea? I didn't want to wake him up. Yeah. He'd probably still be too lazy to actually do anything about us. But better to be certain. Hmm. I kinda hope Bob returns in next game if there is one. Yeah, he is pretty fun. No, let's see. Is there anything here? Like, he has a charm to him. Yeah. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything new here. Hmm. Am I? Oop. Wait, really? Why these stolen key? Really? Suspiciously easy, but I'm good with that. Okay, I, I was. I was going, I was just about to say either she uh, took something here and took off to hide it, or she just left it here somewhere 
and return to LeChuck. He apparently was the second. Did I ask you to give the prisoner uh, a drink of water? No, Captain. You did not. I was acting on my own initiative. When I want initiative, I'll ask for it. Of course, sir. I need you to be a team player. And right now, the team is focused on one thing. The secret. Uh, yes, sir. What? What is it? Out with it! Well, it's just that some of the crew have been talking. Tell me already! The feeling is that the secret is not really a team goal. It's been suggested that you think that securing the secret will help you to win over Elaine Marley, which, well, frankly, sounds kind of deluded. It's not realistic, sir. You are not to mention Elaine in my presence, and do not presume to know what I am thinking. Sorry, Captain. This will be the last time I bring it up. Yes, it will be. I was about to say she might get herself killed with that. <clears throat> also, if she even can die. Yeah. Also, I I just noticed that uh, she has she has a sort of bun of hair that it seems to be shaped somewhat like a rose. <laughs> huh? Would make sense. It's Chef Putra's demon pepper, made from the hottest peppers you can get. Yoink. Also, just, Wally is just hanging around for the third time. Demon Pepper. Old boots and deodorant. It's like a college dormitory. <laughs> it's kind of soothing in a weird way. Yeah, let's just, like it said, retreat from the smell. Yeah, that was easy enough. Hmm. Now we just need to find that uh, lost key. Let's see. We have Smiths, we have Fishers, we have, we have... We need to beat the Queen. So how we are going to do that remains well, we a mystery. we have now. Yeah. But we're going to have to cheat somehow during all of this. <clears throat> Okay, just get in there, Guybrush. Wait, wait, wait. We need to ring the uh, the triangle. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, that, that is back down. At the... Uh... <clears throat> is that this going to... <laughs> Does she have a pressure plate there tied up to something? Actually... A bucket filled to the brim with rotten fish bones. Okay, I was thinking maybe we could... We'll sneak in the bones <clears throat> to make it seem like we ate a lot, but yeah, we're going to be looked at anyways. Okay. Fish. There we go. Oh, a challenge. Don't ask me how she hears that all the way over there. Like, and she probably has nothing better to do than listen for that. Cast iron stomach of Othina the Ninth, reigning queen of Bermuda, and undisputed heartiness champion. And in the challenger's chair, all the way from the Southern Caribbean, still in possession of nearly all of his original teeth, the newcomer, Guybrush Threepwood. If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Gee. Yeah. This looks like a good one, relatively speaking. And now, let the eating commence. Okay, the, the, the joke is going, the trick is going to be in there somewhere. Oops, she just... Oh, tastes like grief. Ladies and gentlemen, Whoa. the winner and still champion, Queen Odina. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm. How can we trick that? 
Ugh, they're more like snakes than fish. Wait. We have several options. So, that might... Wait. Hell? Hmm? Demon pepper. Oh, oh yeah, we could put that in there. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that... put in the fish. They put in the, the pepper. I was actually thinking we'd have to sneak something in there. Oh, that was... This is Chef Kiki's Demon Pepper, made from the hottest peppers you can get. Tasting it is not a good idea. There we go. I was thinking we had to sneak that in like something sense. rubber or something similarly snake-like that we could fish out. I, my <laughs> first thought was uh, we need to find a special if fish. You but... now, select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Okay. Uh, don't take a. There is no talking to the judge during challenges. Miss. It's filled with hagfish and demon pepper. Actually. Oh, yuck. There we go. Now, let the eating commence. There's a rather obvious sneaking, but okay. Guy was just looking miserable. <laughs> Two bites? That's more than she ate, right? I can stop now. Uh, no. Yes, you can stop if you like. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your new champion of hardiness with two bites to the Queen Squad is Mr. Threepwood. <laughs> <laughs> they both need to go run. One contest yeah. down, two to go. Okay, I have to say this. Uh, to explain my, my first thought was to recommend Helian to get a different fish for, for maybe trick them to change out the, the type of fish, but then I saw the goose pepper spice. They must have blown away. Yeah. What am I going to do? I can't get Stan back here after that argument. <sighs> if only I'd made copies right away. What was I thinking? Now I'm right back where I started. <laughs> Excuse me, are we interrupting? No, sorry. What can I do for you, gentlemen? We'd like to purchase some saber fruit. We're running low, and we want to prevent hair loss and trim excess belly fat. You... Wait a minute. Where did you hear that name? We read a flyer. We heard supplies were limited. The flyer! That's my mock-up. My one-of-a-kind, impossible-to-replace, project-saving flyer! Do you have it? Please tell me you have it. Ah, sorry. It, uh, fell into the sea. Fell into? <laughs> like it wasn't your fault. Well, it wasn't my fault. It was yours. Wait, I know. You could ask the nice blonde pirate for a flyer. Blonde pirate? He's the one who gave it to us. Oh, he sails around in the weirdest looking little ship. Guybrush is so freaking dead. <laughs> Yeah, but that one like this did has some result. It did get us some customers. Sort of. <laughs> True. Now, how can we mess up this place? Uh, uh, I'm still just glad I just stopped myself and saw that icon and realized <laughs> that was the answer. Yeah. Now, I think we're going to have to do some sort of shadow play here to mess things up. Also, it doesn't really count as being the smartest when the well, answer is already out in the wall. And Mr. Threepwood to the contest of intelligence. In front of each of you is an advanced algebra problem. You are to solve it as completely as you can and remember to show your work. No peeking, no copying, no swapping papers, and no cheating whatsoever. I will return in 20 seconds to grade your papers. Your time starts now. Yeah, she, she has totally... Have, that's all, that's the entire damn equation written down on the wall there. I have no idea what that says. And I don't think she has either. I think I she's already no done. What that says. I have actually no counting idea out what 20 seconds.
I have no idea what that says. Uh, I, okay, I just. Oh, that's time. Up. I'll take your papers. Hmm. Hmm. No surprises here. Queen Odina has delivered a clear and correct answer with a step-by-step -step proof. Mr. Threepwood appears to have copied parts of several unrelated equations from the blackboard. <laughs> Queen Odina is the winner. Better luck next time. Yeah, she probably knows which of the equations she needs to copy. Hmm. So how can we miss mess this up? I mean, I guess this is algebra? I actually have no idea. Hmm. Let's see, we can't screw this up with the fish. The map shouldn't work with this. Hmm. Oh, okay, that's a, <laughs> that's a quick way to just get to another island. Okay, nice little thing. A bit late to discover that, but oh well. We can make use of that. Okay. Yeah, man, uh... Actually, I think I... Didn't Carla have a book about algebra? And, oh, and we know someone who has a joke book. Okay, well, time to use that newly discovered ability. Get that joke book and get that uh, algebra book, book. I don't know when LeChuck's coming back. Uh, if there is an algebra book, probably there is. Can I have the joke book back? Then what am I supposed to read? You said you were finished. You've read it 16 times. It's boring reading it over and over, but it's better than nothing. Mm, true. Are you sure I can't have the joke book back? Uh, it's boring reading it over and over, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, actually a different Negative delivery on that. It's still not funny. Okay, so we get to, we got we've got to find him something new. Hmm. Wait a minute. Ain't he the skill uh -huh. from the very first game? Now he has the same voice, but I don't think he's the same. Oh, right, so in part because a, we could we... kill that one. Oh wait, no, I don't think we did kill that one. I, don't, I think the other one got abandoned. Uh, we, he got left behind, but you have the option to kill him with the uh, spectral go uh, with the spectral <clears throat> root beer. Oh, oh, oh that's sad. We, we got the blurb to, says it's not a the... solid, if somewhat predictable, story oh. about a roguish pirate and a doomed romance with a woman of station. Yeah, I think we have to give him one of these. <coughs> Uh, let's try this one. Can I borrow this book? Fine, fine. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. Uh-oh. I wonder how many different lines he has for being annoyed with Guy Press just getting in front of the line. Oh, dear. Zoom. Okay. Is this to your liking, Bob? Hey, Bob. Would you like to read this book? It's about a voyage that never ends. Sounds interesting and long. Here's your joke book back. <laughs> okay, it's, it's technically flambés, but oh well. <clears throat> I, again, I hope we get to see this guy more for... I don't know, there's something about the character I like. <laughs> yeah, he's not a jackass in any way. He's just hanging there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we know how to mess this up then. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, we present, for only the 11th time this week, the contest of seriousness. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Oh. yep, 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 yep. On this side, the reigning queen, Odina the Ninth of Bermuda. And on this side, the challenger. Guybrush Threepwood, currently unemployed and of no fixed address. Right, who, how do you know that? We'll all come to order. The contest will begin. The first contestant to laugh is the loser. Have you heard the one about the guy who put an ice cube on a scurvy dog? He said it was chilly. 
It'll take more than that to crack me up. Okay, then we... Oh. Okay, you meet... It just said... Uh, yep, tell the queen a joke. Hmm. Why do demons have horns on their heads? Because they're too uncomfortable under the arms. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Guybrush Threepwood. How did you get that book? I'm not confiscating this. <laughs> okay, so she actually does like the laugh. It's just she's, she hurt all of them not before. Fear <laughs> <laughs> gods in Valhalla. Okay. Hello. I can't tell you how happy I am to see you. Assuming you're real, of course. Just because I can see it doesn't necessarily mean you're real. Case in point. You'll never guess who I thought was here in the cave stealing my golden key. But then he just vanished. Which is something hallucinations do that real people generally don't. Come to think of it, though, uh, where is that key? I, I had it right here. And there aren't that many places it could have gone. Also, I... Pretty sure that it was the exact same pose he was hanging in Monkey Island too. I think so too. And I'm getting worried about how this may res go for. I... I'm getting worried that she may kill you. I could do this professionally. <laughs> okay. Really? I think it might. I think we might have to do something with the uh, with the the bucket and such. I think it might be the shield. Uh, we can't interact with that. Let's see. Hmm. We yeah. might need a hint on this. Yeah, this one feels gonna hint. Like the joke book makes sense. Demon pepper made sense, but this one. Hmm. A different angle. Yes. Some ways to cheat on a test. Uh, mirrors or something. Oh, swap papers. Okay, that's straightforward. Wait, so we need to distract her to swap? I will return in 20 yeah. seconds to grade your papers. Your time starts now. Okay. Let's copy some I have over. No idea what that says. And yeah, when she's not looking like that, uh, it's when she gets distracted by the bucket. Time's up. I'll take your papers. <laughs> okay, so the bucket did have something to do with it. I just wasn't paying attention before. I am most surprised by this, but. The evidence is clear. Mr. Threefoot is the winner. But how is that possible? Clean living, regular exercise, and a brain like a mountain. Dense, motionless, and shaped by erosion. You can see the difficulty I'm having. I can. Better luck next time. <laughs> uh. Citizens of Bermuda, Mr. Guybrush Threepwood has somehow successfully bested our beloved Queen Odina at all three of our traditional challenges. We are gathered to complete an orderly and peaceful transfer of power. <laughs> Will there be food that isn't raw fish? There are some customary vows. Vows? Nobody mentioned any vowing. Will you faithfully uphold the honor and dignity of Bermuda in your every thought and deed? Sure. And will you promise to enforce and obey the laws of Bermuda? Of course. Do you swear to defend and protect the people of Bermuda, sacrificing your own life or limbs if necessary? <laughs> this is starting to sound like a trap. 
It's just standard contractual language. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling that the moment you're on this throne, you're not okay. supposed to come I off guess it? I'm in. And will you gracefully accept all challenges to your hardiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence? No problem. Very well. Citizens of Bermuda, your new queen, Guybrush Threepwood. Congratulations. If you want my advice, I... Give me the crown already. I hope you like spending all your time doing the three challenges. Because that's basically what your job is now. I have to write my memoirs. Uh, uh, Guybrush. He... Uh, he is he is going to get thrown off the island. <gasps> Might have wanted to wait with that. Oh. <laughs> um. As your queen. Uh. <laughs> uh. What the heck? I want to tell you that we're all queens in our own special way. That's why I've symbolically destroyed the crown. Why don't you all take a key? You get a key. And you really? Get one. And you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got places to be. Did he actually sure. pick up a key there? No, I think he stopped himself. He bit, got a bit unsure. Wood has all the keys. That's right, Captain. Just recovered the last one. Prepare to set sail for Melee Island immediately. What about my spell? It's almost ready. I'm sure I'll find some use for it later. I'm afraid I can say the same for you, however. Aww, you're betraying me. I'm the one who does that. But I do respect talent in other people. Wait. Was that Madison's head a uh, hat? Okay. Time to GTFO and open up that safe and see what the hell the, the secret is. Uh, okay. He just autopilots. Uh, the se Wait. Is this supposed to be the final game? Uh, this is, from what we can gather, the last one in this timeline so far. But a, a part of me... A part of me is fully expecting to open up that safe, and there's just another safe in there. I will not be surprised. So, let's just stick these in. Does he stick them in a specific... Okay, do we need to figure out which goes where or something? Or is it just... They fit any? Oop. Nope. Come on, what is it? It's cheesier than <laughs> I imagined, but still beautiful. <laughs> Fucking called it. <laughs> <laughs> is it golden? Oh. Just... <laughs> Probably made from solid gold, yeah. Okay. Hmm. I wasn't really thinking about the possibility of yet another lock. This seems like overkill. Oh, well, there's no serial number. Maybe I can break it open. Yep. I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong end, dumbass. Wait, what? <laughs> he was using the hilt of the hammer. It handle. Is it shot or is that Oracal? Right, no, that's wrong call for Oracalcum. <sighs> Let's see. It's just a problem. I choose to see it as a puzzle. This is not a problem. I choose to see it as a puzzle. Great point! Ah! <laughs> LeChuck, my old nemesis. Here we are again. Looks like this story ends the way it was always destined to end. With just you, and me, and the secret. Not quite. I don't suppose it'll do me any good to point out that you're cheating again? I've underestimated your resourcefulness, Threepwood. But 
force always wins in the end. You should try it sometime. Good luck opening well. that. It's well made. I tried everything I could think of for a whole minute, and I didn't make a dent in it. Of course not. The secret can only be revealed in a ceremonial chamber located deep within the bowels of Monkey Island. That would have been nice to know ahead of time. It pleases me to have you live with the knowledge of how close you were to having this before I took it from you. So, I've decided not to kill you right this minute. Outside that door, the deal is off. Don't even think about following me and count to a hundred before you leave the building. Oh, well, we already know where he's headed anyways. You won't get away with this. A hundred. Guybrush! Whitey Bones said she saw you come in. Are you all right? No. I mean, yes, I'm fine. Do you want to talk about it? The truck has the secret, and he's headed for the bowels of Monkey Island. The caverns underneath the big monkey head? There's no time to lose. Let's talk on the way. Yep. Okay. Okay, just tore that up. I think this might be the, the final part then. That did <laughs> seem like a better way to get here than making the potion. I'll definitely have to take notes next time. Yes, I just hope it turns out to be worth all the effort. What effort? That was easy. I'm not talking about the trip over. I mean all the work you've done leading up to it. Not to mention the trail of destruction <laughs> you've left in your wake. <laughs> oh, give me, she is going to give 12 examples, isn't she? Yeah, so we've been, I... we haven't been, oh, hmm. Okay, during the, during the intro, it said that you could always save to try different options, but uh, yeah, we haven't always been able to save during these conversations. So that is a bit annoying. And again, you, we only have so many save slots, it seems. Oh, nonsense. Give me 12 examples. <laughs> if you meant to challenge me, you should have gone for a larger number. <coughs> Udina told me an exciting story about what happened on Bermuda. Apparently, you managed to destroy a priceless traditional artifact and the government of an entire island in five minutes flat. That's quite impressive. Even for you. <laughs> Frankly, I think I did them a favor. That stuff with the contests was nutty. Traditions are great to have, but you shouldn't base your government on them. I can't say that I disagree, but it wasn't really your choice to make. Technically, yes it was, as dictated by Technically. tradition. Technically. <laughs> Odina also thinks you cheated on your algebra test and tried to poison her. <laughs> it wasn't poison. It was just hot pepper. She was fine an hour later. I did have to convince her not to file suit. You owe me one. I appreciate that. Uh, Incidentally, you plenty. I think you might also be royalty now, since you're married to me. I thought something felt different this morning. <laughs> How many nope, is now? Four? <laughs> Did you know the Museum of Pirate Lore was shut They're down? actually going to... Its prize exhibit went missing. Curiously, there was only one name in the guest book. Really? We were the only one who signed that stupid thing? The only one who actually... <laughs> Dear uh, gods. I know I forgot. Oh, now I know. Uh, you can... We can officially call Guybrush a royal pain in the ass now. True, and I just I, I see what's going on here. He actually become a pirate. <laughs> yeah, he's actually done some real pirating for once. Well, I needed a disguise. It was the only way I could get aboard the Chuck ship. The guy doesn't like me for some reason. Go figure. Herman Toothrot is also a little upset with you. He says you took his key and left him in a dark cave. <laughs> the magic sign only works with one person, and I didn't have any way to know that in advance. Well, you'll be happy to know he made it out. I rescued him myself. I am happy to know that. Thanks. <laughs> Remind me why we're talking about all this? It's just, I'm worried that the secret can't possibly measure up to the effort and anticipation. What exactly are you expecting to find? Yeah, pe people have been wanting to know this for a... 30 years-ish? Oh, bloody heck, you might be right. 
So yeah, th th this is basically them temp trying to temper people's anticipation somewhat. <laughs> I have no idea. That's why it's so important that I find it. Well, be careful what you wish for. And we don't actually, we aren't actually going to do the 12 things. I think we did. <laughs> Here we go. Just like old times. Are you ready for the caverns? I remember them, full of lava and tiny ledges. It's a good thing you're wearing your adventure boots. <laughs> Hope you also brought your adventure sword. Well, well. You go on ahead, sweetie. I'll catch up. <laughs> okay. So here, <laughs> the henchmen are likely to be lying in wait then. And yeah, just like last time, lots of lava. Oh, hello, Wally. <laughs> and mushrooms. Hey, Wally. How's it hanging? Seriously, that's the joke you were going to use right now? Yeah, I'm trying out some new material. Don't quit your day job. Uh, but at least he's not annoyingly swinging. <laughs> uh, they, they should have had him swinging just like that. <laughs> For the, the joke of doing it three times. Uh, Good gods. Uh, I'm starting to get to the point where I'm smiling so much that my, the, the corners of my mouth are starting to hurt. I can see that on your uh, avatar. <laughs> Wally, what happened? As if you don't know. How did you end up here? I saw your office had been ransacked. LeChuck came into the shop storming mad because he thought I gave him a mop map instead of a map to the secret. Yeah, real head scratcher how that happened. <laughs> Thanks for the C-Map. That was really great, and I owe you for all the work you did for free. Glad you liked it. <laughs> well, that, that also stats. That mop map you made for me was a winner. Oh yeah, that's right. I did make you a mop map. Wait, <laughs> it's all starting to make sense now. Why is it that every time our paths cross, <laughs> good old Wally is kidnapped or tormented or worse. The mysteries of how the universe works may never be known. <laughs> oh, Wally is so going to kill us if he gets out of those. But then again, he'll have to get in line. <laughs> yeah. A long I line. I wish I could get you out of those shackles. You and me both. Yeah, I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got to get the secret before LeChuck does. Sure. Run off. Wally will be fine. He's going to need therapy all over again. A oh, poor Wally. Okay, let's rush this a bit. Uh, oh. Flambe, you're awake. Not for long. I'm just here to tell you that you are making a mistake. The Chuck's obsession consumes him like a frog swallowing a tarantula. You don't want to be there when he opens that chest. Do you know something? Also, cool entrance. <laughs> yeah. Are you just trying to slow me down? The chalk doesn't handle frustration well. You've been warned. Yeah, that's right. Run. Right. Is this going to be an Ark of the Covenant thing? And all the screaming faces in the walls are still here as well. Oh dear. And one of them blinked. <laughs> I can't really see down there too well. There's a lot of lava. Uh, I can't really see down there too well. There's a lot of lava. Okay. Wait, what? Here goes. Oh. Ow. Phew. Guy brush, how blind are you? I, I thought they were to do an Indiana Jones joke there. The, the, guess they sort of did just with a different twist. Lachuk, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Damn you, three blood. I should have gotten rid of you the first 58 times I had the chance. You will uh. never make it down here alive. Just once, I want this to be easy. 
Only the organized pirate will pass. Okay, does it mean that it wants us to dump out our inventory or something? I used to have a letter opener like this. Let's see. Oh, hello. Squinting. I'm naming it Captain Squint. <laughs> Let's see what kind of snanaganery we can find here. Frustrated. Hey, oh. yeah, monkeys. You could tile a bathroom if you had enough of these. Stone crackers? And yeah, it is Monkey Island after all. It it's holding a mug. Uh, uh, crackers to him. Spyglass to the first. Spyglass, due to its being a solid chunk of stone. Uh, yeah. And oh, stone and to the second. Uh, the stone knife to the second. It looks like a piece of eight, but made of stone. Okay. Okay, the coin I don't know. Yep. And we get the mug instead. Okay. Hmm. So just simple <coughs> finish the statue puzzles. Okay. And you would want the knife to open that. And there we go. That that was a good puzzle. Too hard, but still clever. Oh. Another piece of eight. Or stone of eight. All right, Let's I guess anything this else will be used for something. And they are monkeys. Look, Chuck, the secret will never be yours. I hate solving puzzles more than I hate street wood. <laughs> Threepwood, won't you ever give up and just go home? You don't either. Once is a coincidence, twice is suspicious. Yeah, maybe shut up the ones we're past this one. <laughs> oh. Those epaulets deserve a room of their own. <laughs> okay. And the one... You made the shoulder pads? In the two, yeah. <laughs> oh, was there something there? Oh, yes, there is. Another one of these. We'll see how many there are total. Uh, oh. The clever eyes put this one above the rank and file. That's why I assume first swab. Okay, so we have to divide the gold, so to speak. Cheer up, little guy. You'll go far. It's one of those stone pieces of eight. Okay, so we have to divide the plunder. Are there any more coins here? Let's see. We take those. The captain will, of course, get the biggest share. Okay. Captain what now? Let's see. Monkey beard. <laughs> Hmm. Then the first swap gets a, a bit more. Let's see, can we even fit these in here? We have four total. And I'm not seeing any more of these anywhere. Curious. And yes, remembered. In the first game, they said there was a ship. Mad by monkeys. Yep. Wait, what? what? Are these the monkeys? Uh, these have been here longer. Okay. So, this. Okay. I did not expect that to fix that. Uh, oh, I, I think I might guess what might be the case. Since uh, pirate captains tend to bury their treasure, so he would technically have none. I guess. Maybe? Yeah, I, I wish I could shrug with this, but I can't. Lechuk, the secret is mine! Oh, he's actually making progress. You really do suck at puzzles, don't you? How are you still alive? You will never have the secret. I will soon have my revenge. Then you will forever be cursed. And you will never escape. You will vanish with no tails. 
No, I will return. He always does return. Third time be a charm, three weed. Ow. Oh. Ow. Okay, what is in that room? Next time, I keep my voice down. Only the bloodthirsty pirate will pass. Okay, we, we didn't read that last one. Oh, this one's collapsed. There's no way I'm getting through there. Okay, so... My brain, seriously. Hmm? The only bloodthirsty pirate may pass, and I instantly thought of a bloodthirst of a Warhammer with a pirate hat. Is, is that oil? It's leaking uh, some kind of oil all over the floor now. Okay. What the heck? It looks like its leg is hurt. Do we need to stab all of these? Okay. Oh. I thought it was going the wrong way. I think so. it represents blood. Yeah. This hmm. is going to be a problem. What happened here? That didn't seem to do anything. This is starting to look like some sort of animatronics or something. Or just a sculpture. Let's see, do we add... And rebarb, or what are they supposed to call... Can we squeeze these out over this or something? No. Hmm. But mug? Oh yeah, we fill that up, and then pour it over here. Another moment where I instantly saw sold the polish you. Yeah, there's, there's fencing and such be, becoming visible behind the walls. Hmm. Right there, and something here. Hmm. Also, just piping everywhere. Okay. Wow. That's a big monkey statue. Oh, damn it. I saw the answer. Oh, oh, oh. Madison hat? So long, Captain Madison. This is like one of those mystery stories where the person has so many enemies the detectives don't know where to start. <laughs> Good point. Did, did he actually chuck them all into the lava? <laughs> that would definitely deal with them, certainly. Okay. What is this here? 1519. I just... This is a reference to uh, the anti-pirating software, or not software, the anti-pirating measure from the first bloody game, which was a, a little turn wheel where you had to match faces up and then you would get a number to, or something as an answer for a, something, uh, yeah, for a question that would, well, let you continue or not. <laughs> what the? Okay, what do we need to do then? I don't want to close any more possible escape routes. Okay, what do we need to do here then? Most of these faces look like they can actually match up. Wait, they do the Kind of look... How high is this wait, going to be? Eight. Okay, there is back down to the low again. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what, how to, <laughs> what to do here then. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I think that matches up the faces. Mm, let's try changing the date then and see what happens. There's not really any hints as to what we need to do here. 
Yeah, I'm trying to do it. Think. But what? Normally we see something that will give us a hint or something or a clue, but. Hmm. I don't remember them ever giving us a date of anything. Hi, I'm but working due east of the lake and due south of camp today. Hmm. Wait, something? Maybe something with the map? Hmm. Also, we didn't ask Bully how the hell he actually knew. Let's see, get through this, yeah, solve the code wheel, open the chest. Hmm. Wait, is there something in the room we missed? Let's take a look. Yep. One of the stone slabs from the altar seems to have fallen off during the rumble. There's some writing on it. A bosun who sailed from Havana kept a pencil inside his bandana. His jaw, despite heft, gathered lint in the cleft, which he detailed in long memorandum. From the complete book of pirate limericks, published in 1730. After all I've been through, finding some limericks on a piece of stone sinking into the lava isn't all that strange. Okay. 1730. And chin with a cleft. That one down there. It's two parts, and the bosun. The bosun is probably this one here. And otherwise, we can just keep turning it until it opens up. Okay, just keep going up with this. Also, what is a Limerick book from the 1730s doing in here that seems to be ancient? There we go. And then we just finish it like that. I was just deep in the mushroom and lava-ridden caves under what? Monkey Island, and now I'm... Oh, no. Not yet. Wait. Okay. Ghosts are not real. Yeah. Now, are we going to have a repeat of the ending of two? Glad you finally made it, kid. Well, Stan? It's closing time and everyone wants to go home. Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. What do you mean it's closing time? I just got here. No, oh, I don't have time for this. I'm late for an important meeting. Take my keys and shut off all the lights before you leave. I'm not liable for anything that happens after closing time. Guybrush, are you ready to go? Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. Okay, so we are having another case. Dang. Stan makes the chuck better every time. The secret is mine. Each like time I come here, Stan her hands the challenge. But it's still LeChuck 0, Guybrush Threepwood 6. The secret is mine. Nice twist adding in Madison, Trent, and Lila. The team up had me fooled for a while. The secret is mine. Well, back to my boring flooring inspector job. Until next time. What a stroke of luck. The locksmith had the key all along. That was disappointingly easy. I wonder what's going on. Okay, so... <laughs> We seem to be sort of balancing between this being real and all fake. So I'm just going to stay quiet for most of this. Yeah, I should have suspected Stan's involvement the minute I saw how cheap and gaudy this is. Dang nabbit, it's locked. If only there was a key. Interesting. I found the secret of Monkey Island, and all it was was this stupid t-shirt. It's empty. Okay. I didn't do anything this time. I was framed. Aye, that was an absolute ripper. I hereby declare you the winner. Hmm. 
I am. Mm. Historic landmark. The original secret, a pirate adventure park. Established 1989 by R. Gilbert. Ron Gilbert. <laughs> hmm. Elaine, thank goodness you're here. Of course. Where else would I be? I'm not sure where I am all of a sudden. You're right here with me. But we shouldn't stick around too long. I was just underground on Monkey Island, and now we're on Melee? Things just go by in a blur sometimes when you're having fun, don't they? How'd it go with Flair? Let's just say I made my point. I'm really not, not sure now if, if this is supposed to be real or fake or well. How did you get here before me? You know I always try to stay a step ahead. Are, is, are they just repeating the ending of two to try and rug pull us somehow? Hmm. Hope not. I got the secret. You finally did it. I hope it was worth it. I'm going to have to think about that. Have you done something new with your hair? It got ruffled in the fight. I like it. Hmm. Let's take Let one more look. look. Around some more. Oop. Turn that off. The switch is locked. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there's another one there. Another one there. And one more here. And yeah, they just go completely still. Though that is still going. And the only thing left in the lights. I'm ready to go. Good. Me too. Yeah. Dad, that was a silly ending, and it didn't even make any sense. You're terrible at endings. I thought you liked silly endings. You and Chucky play the ending of Monkey Island 2 really silly. That's different. We're kids, and we're just goofing around. You're the one who said you can't just change things. You said that's not how storytelling works. I did? I want to know the secret. You have to tell me what you really found in the chest. Okay, so that <laughs> this time it was Guybrush bullshitting us with that. Hmm. What? Yeah, but... What are they up to? Hmm. Again, we can't save here. Hmm. There isn't any one answer to what the secret is. It's not like a rock or a banana. It's like a story. It changes with time and the person telling it. Everyone you ask will have a different idea. Mom, Dad won't tell me what the secret is. Are you filling our son's head with your outlandish stories again? I was telling him the one about how we found the secret of Monkey Island. <laughs> oh, that one. <laughs> Every time you tell that story, the ending gets stranger and stranger. Let's go down to the docks and watch the galleon head out. Yay! <laughs> I found the lost map to the treasure of Maya Island. It's going to be a fun adventure. I'll meet you down there. I don't have the cursor. <clears throat> okay, so I am a bit unsure still. I, I, I guess, yeah, going by what Elaine says, they probably did find the secret, but they're not going to tell us what it is <laughs> after all. Um, hmm. 
Yeah, he, he was just bullshitting at the end there. And basically, with how long it's been, uh, whatever the answer was going to be, it was going to disappoint most people. Yeah, but still. <laughs> hmm. And still, that... this still is painful. That was fully implying that, uh, at the very least, uh, Elaine is still adventuring. I think both are. Yeah, possibly, but I think there was something with how Guybrush was just sitting there and looking contemplative or something. What's with that third one there? What the...? I was to say this, it almost looked like we had a choice of multiple endings. Maybe, I... Hmm... Yeah, I was, I was starting to suspect that it was going to lead to... But I think I'd heard multiple times that Ron Gilbert's original idea with Monkey Island 1 and 2 was that it was basically... Uh, yeah, a kid's... Uh, a, a kid's imagining a, a grand adventure in a theme park which would explain some of the silliness and such, everything. And that he wanted, if he got control back again, it gets darker, what? <clears throat> uh, yeah, that he would have wanted to continue down that line. And yeah, I guess in the end he did after all. Hmm. Just in a more... Better way, I guess. Yeah, in a way that it can be more better explained why things just go silly because yeah, it's guy versus bullshitting. Let's see. There's the is it, uh, Kevin Hammond. Uh, okay, oh, Boodle Lady and Carlos Lady. herself. Yeah, <laughs> they still call it Liam O'Brien. Breen. It's quarantine pirates. Matt Mercer, Paul Robson again. There, I missed. Wally Wingert, Yuri Lowenthal as the cook, <laughs> Lowenthal? Okay. I know. Uh, Yuri Lowenthal does the voice acting, or some cases more grunt acting, for in a lot of games. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to, how I feel about that uh, ending fully, but yeah, it is. It's not how it really went, we can all agree on that, since, well, Elaine said that Guybrush bullshits the end of it, more and more, but... Yeah... Hmm. Uh, I... it, it does feel like an anti-climax. Yeah, I still love the game, but this... And I hope we will have one more game. Yeah. But... And to be honest, <laughs> it was probably intentionally going for an anti-climax. Yeah. And these are little uh, storyboard bits of the game, uh, of the game's cutscenes. So yeah, I guess I completely underestimated that how long we would still be busy with this game. Yeah, uh, I, I thought we maybe had one more street left. Hmm? This is one the one more stream left. We made two <laughs> yeah. streams today. Okay. <laughs> uh. Uh, kid. And yeah, again, whatever the sequence was going to be revealed as, it would disappoint most people. Since if, 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 that's the thing with speculation and such. You just drive yourself up and up and up and up on a hill of what you are thinking is correct. So when the actual thing is revealed, then yeah, you're going to be tumbling down a mountain by that point. Oh dear, yeah. Mm. But yeah, I do hope now. I do hope that they will continue to make some more games. Don't mind if it's in the same style as this or a different style again. Like I said, it, the, the games have hardly been consistent with their art style, except for the first two. And even then, between one and two, there's a big jump in the pixel artwork. Oh yeah, and the remake made them unified. 
for a short while. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, um, I, I did. I definitely can say that I do not regret playing this game. Yeah, I, I was really glad to have been along on the journey, and I just realized we still have plenty of time left. Uh, let me take a look. About yeah, a half hour and five minutes, or thirty-five minutes to be. To put yeah, it simply, but complicated enough. Normally, this if you have it be started late, this would be the time we would have ended the stream. <laughs> yeah, so things sort of <laughs> sort of match up, match up anyways. Then, oh, in memory yeah. of Leon Fencer, David McGone, Carol Seal, and Jeff Ryan Reader. Oh, and pets, of course. <laughs> Princess Peanut Head, Duke Sauron, Ombret, Tortoise One, Tortoise A, really? Uh, yeah, Devolver, Devolver is a good yeah, publisher. That there's there are a few publishers that can be often said called that. But Devolver, at the very least, they are generally just... they it Maybe not always good games that they publish, but they're typically always interesting. Yeah, but well, I don't know about Mushroom, but I guess they are also one of those that try not to screw over the games. Yeah. Uh, just in general, I don't... I haven't heard much bad about Devolver. That now they made a free game based around uh, a, a conventions thing, that, <laughs> or one of the convention layouts that they had, or something, oh, or the God, games so that they would bring up. This is something here. Face look at it. This is totally owned by Disney. Yep. Hmm. So technically just... speaking, we could have Guybrush Creep Words meeting Captain America. Please, no. Hmm. And actually, <laughs> now I'm kind of surprised they did not do Pirates of the Caribbean references. And yeah, there might have been. And speaking of Pirates of the Caribbean, I don't know if the rights, the original right that the first movies were actually quote unquote based off. Uh, I don't know if that's still around, but it would be very, e it would be very possible to refit that temporarily to become a Monkey Island ride. Maybe. Yeah, that would be. I, I'm not. A, I'm not a roller coaster person, but I would ride that. <laughs> That's not really a roller coaster either, but still. I, I just remember yeah, all the random facts. Thanks to Pirates Caribbean movies, they actually added Jack Sparrow to the ride, but he was not originally part of the ride. Yeah. <laughs> it's curious how things can cross evolve like that, huh? Yeah. For better or worse. Okay. That very special thanks for George Lucas. Okay, the heck was that there? I did not move the mouse or anything. I didn't press anything. My hands have been away from the keyboard since it started. <coughs> yeah. Hmm. Herbal toy box. Anything after the credits? Okay. What the what heck was that? Was them that? Just, I think that was them poking fun of uh, after credit scenes, maybe. Uh, something new added to the scrapbook? Hey, want to see my Mighty Pirate scrapbook? Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a. Let's see, probably at the very end here. This was a cool. Oh, man. Yep, then it was the time Tales. I Oh, here's that voodoo doll from the end of my Big Whoop adventure. It doesn't really look much like LeChuck, or at least not undead LeChuck. These there are we go. The time I found the secret of Monkey Island. <laughs> no, it's the pamphlet. <laughs> okay, this is going to be cute. 
I started my voyage at the Scum Bar, but right away I could tell it wasn't going to be like old times. And yeah, it's it's very likely that these three got killed off, but I would not be surprised at all if they are if they show up in future games. I learned more than I ever wanted to know about mops. <laughs> I made the unusual decision to join LeChuck's crew as a way to get to Monkey Island. Yeah, it looks like at the very least he tried to kill Iron Rose, so not seeing her would be a shame Turning again. Turning LeChuck's ship <laughs> was an interesting experience. <laughs> Speaking of her. <laughs> uh. I grew to like the crew. I forgot all about looking like a zombie and starting a mutiny and seizing the ship. Ah, uh, here's the thing. My disguise held up great, right up until we were nearing Monkey Island, when it, um, well, there was a failure. A failure that is called Guybrush Sweepwood. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Gullet was my supervisor. Not a very pleasant guy. They say to this day, he is still stuck in the rudder. <laughs> Gods. Putra was really happy when I got her promoted to chef. Yeah, what's this? I got thrown off the ship, but that was okay. I'd gotten as far as I needed to. And <laughs> he's just still reading. Uh, I, I want to get to know more about these as well. They made really nice characters with these. They don't the go too deep into them. Monkey Island was not what I expected. But they have they have enough to them that I want to know more about them. Yeah. Again, I hope we get there will be a more, one more game or something. Yeah. Uh, we all thought the secret would be on the island somewhere. Like, I, I want to know what happened. How I want to know how the Chuck escaped from a uh, Teresa's grasp, and what happened to Morgan. Did she stay in the afterlife, or did she manage to get herself resurrected somehow? Yeah, for the same thing that she became a ghostly pirate hunter. Yeah. Everybody had a map. Some more useful than others. Elaine and I rebuilt my old ship, the Sea Monkey, so we could sail back to Melee. And I learned some deeply personal things about my nemesis, LeChuck. Yeah, that he likes tentacles and daisy sauce. The temporary pact I made with my enemies turned out to be about five minutes more temporary than I had hoped. It was a race to get to the secret first. Oh, hey, he still has one. I hunted down all five golden keys. I wonder if I was supposed to keep these. <laughs> Where did you leave them? LeChuck teamed up with Madison, but that was never going to last. Madison was scheming to betray LeChuck. Lila was scheming to betray Madison and LeChuck. I'm not what? sure Trent ever thought very far ahead. He looks a bit derpy here. Whitey Bones told me all about the Golden Keys. Elaine had a lot on her plate, but she was with me in the end. Carla handled earthquake relief as best she could under the circumstances. True. I broke Stan out of prison. Wally was kidnapped. Again. The voodoo lady disappeared. I unseated the reigning queen to become the last queen of Bermuda. <laughs> and Herman. I visited Herman Toothrot in his cozy hermit cave. I managed to recover the secret, but then LeChuck stole it and took it back to Monkey Island to open it. We chased LeChuck back to Monkey Island again, and I tracked him down. Uh, yeah, this is totally the DRM wheel. <laughs> Yeah, I'll admit, that is a very, very clever joke that they did with that. Yeah. Uh. Bloody heck. Elaine held off Flare Gory while I went into the monkey. <laughs> I made this mock-up of the final puzzle. I think it's pretty neat. Uh, don't tell me that Guybrush started a gaming company later in life. Someone had devised a series of themed pirate monkey puzzles to keep out the unworthy. I found Wally! Wait, what's this? R&D? First thought is research and development, but do we know anyone with R and someone with D in the name? 
It's just sure. going to be a teaser. Open it. Nope. June 18th, 2020. Development won't start for another month or so, but we have been thinking about this for a while. It seems like a good time to jot down a few thoughts and then stash them away as a sort of time capsule message to our future selves about what we're setting out to do with Return to Monkey Island. Who knows, we might learn something. Monkey Island has historically been a reflection of the lives of the people who made the games. The sequel of Monkey Island was about a young person setting out to pursue an exciting new career. As designers in our 20s, that is all uh, that we were. The sequel, The Chuck's Revenge, was in many ways about the difficulties of making a sequel, or at least about what one does immediately after something that felt like a great success, but which went unnoticed by most of the world at, at large. Many years, 20 later, after Gavras had gone on a couple of adventures... Uh, there we go. I think I could have scrolled through something earlier, but I forgot. Probably the pamphlet, yeah. <laughs> Uh, da, da, da. Many years after Guybrush had gone on a couple of adventures with other teams who had their own hopes and challenges, we set out to make Tales of Monkey Island as a story about trust. And it is, uh, but what jumps out most for us is that, that it feels like a story about grown-ups. Because that's what we were. Many of us in the, we, yeah, many of us in our 40s by then, with children and lives and a lumpy encrusted layer of experience. Uh, we are well into our 50s now. We've had lengthy careers, we've made a lot of games, but Monkey Island still defines us to a certain degree. Or at least in the minds of many, we are those guys who made that game a long time ago. <laughs> True. <laughs> and it feels like there is some unfinished business there. When the opportunity arose to come back to Monkey Island, we were pretty much on the same page as to what uh, we wanted to do. Guy Russ, like us, is older now. And he has a long and reasonable successful career. <laughs> uh, I find these reasonably... Or actually, I find the successful part to be doubtful there. <laughs> uh, mm. Hit the but, miss. But he is mostly associated with something that happened a long time ago. And that feels unfinished to him. The game is a goofy pirate adventure, the same as always. But also, it's a story about trying to recapture the past, with all its alleged useful strength and glory. Guybrush will both succeed and fail at this. He will sort of get what he wants, but it won't be what he expected. I predict the same for us. Ron Gilbert and... Someone else's signature. Denise? Dig? Dig? It's, it's initials. Uh, uh, some... There is someone that he worked with a lot. I think they showed up in the credits as well, but I kind of overlooked that. Sorry about that. <laughs> but these are the these are the creators of Monkey Island. This is a letter from them to well everyone. <laughs> no, get more paper. And with that, then we are done with Monkey Island until a new game arrives. If a new game arrives, I, I still hope there will be. Yeah, I, I. There's just something about this series. It's it's uh, it's humor and just it, <laughs> except for a certain single one that uh, wasn't was made before the, the technology was fully understood and functional. All of these games are still great this day to this day. Oh yeah, and. As far as I know, I don't think I've really noticed a joke that's aged badly. Yeah, there's nothing... Uh, yeah, there were probably a few that we might have forgotten or might have missed. But in general, this this is a an amazing series. Even Ooh, still yeah. near... Mm. I need to check when the, original, when the first came out again. I think it was the 90s or 91 or something. But still, this series is at the very least 30 years old. And yeah, they, they started as 20s and they are in their 50s now, 30 years. And yeah, it, it just tells, it is really telling when a series can still get a, another you know, game made 30 years after the original. Of course, there was more in between, but yeah, Monkey Island will always be Monkey Island. Yeah, and 
I said this, even if they don't make a new one, I hope they will make more of these point and click adventures with same quality of humor. Yeah, it, it just the quality of life stuff as well is, is great in this game. Just from the scrapbook to recap people who aren't familiar with the series, to give them a, a, a taste of what the things that were... Uh, to give them a taste of the other games and possibly even get them to play them and experience them. So, well, the hint book, the uh, to-do list uh, base is basically an objective list, but it, it works. And <laughs> it has a bit of the you know, charm from Guybrush, just <laughs> the things he does. And <laughs> yeah, just... I can't really find too many faults with this. The only fault and which can't even be called a fault is that uh, yeah sadly uh LeChuck's original voice actor uh, passed away before this game was released and the the new LeChuck does a good job the one minor issue that i have with that is that possibly because of uh sound warnings or something they didn't raise his voice that much whilst he is screaming yeah, it might be he could it might be that a voice actor is unable to get that volume well, or he was in a location where he could not do that. Yeah, which that is, I, I'm willing to just brush that aside because it it is a big it's a big bear, pair of undead boots to fill. Yeah, I get. I think he would ease into the whole thing would be again better if they had skipped the screen shaking. Yeah, which made it look, which made it seem like he would be shouting a lot more. And yeah, I'm I'm going to hold an ear out for a sequel to this. I'm not going to expect that to come out in the next few years or something. Maybe 2025 or something, since it does oh, take quite a way to work. Hmm? Wait, wait, it, it it got a sequel now two weeks ago. Yeah, uh, you're fucking with me, aren't you? No, no, I am pulling your leg, however. But yeah, uh, this will be the last of Monkey Island for quite a while. There, I, there are some, there are some fan games you could call them, which is basically the original versions of one and two, but with the voice acting uh, <clears throat> transplanted onto them. I think they are called them you know, talky versions or something like that. It's it's always nice to see fans do stuff like that. But we won't be doing that. We are only doing the official games, and this was the last of the current lineup. Oh yeah, but unless we somehow able to fix the one we had to abandon. Yeah, but I don't think that'll be too likely. So yeah, until <laughs> the next time that a Monkey Island game is announced and released. We will be moving on to other games. Now that we are done with Monkey Island and Shantae, we will have to find something else. And yeah, I, I've talked about this a bit well, before with Drakir and others. There were, well, the, the few people in the Discord here uh, for who yeah, <laughs> don't mind me. Uh, but yeah, we'll probably be going to more uh, individual games, not series, possibly. Uh, we'll have to see how things go with Commandos and Binary Domain. Uh, the Binary Domain is, of course, going very slow because I want uh, <clears throat> I want ROM to be there whenever we stream that. And yeah, Same. time zone stuff. Um, yeah, no. I should probably clarify. We will try to do some single games, but otherwise shorter series games, so to speak. Yeah, it's, it's, but yeah I used to do air quotes. <laughs> Uh, I, like, I want to one day stream Persona 5 Royal, but we are not putting that as our side project, because otherwise we'll be busy that with that for the next 30 freaking years. Yeah. That, that is just a main project and an only project. We will probably use a guide, but when that will finally happen, we will see. <laughs> oh dear gods. But yeah, I, I have an idea already of the first game to uh, to start with, and let me see. Let me turn the icons back on because I, I <laughs> it's something funny actually with that, is that uh, the night after I uh, had told you that I wanted to do serial cleaners next, uh, I had a little pop up show up on my phone from the the Steam app, 
So let me see. Store, wishlist, and... Da -da 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 -da. It was released. There we go. Yeah, the, this sequel, Serial Cleaners, which was released in September of last year, actually. I hadn't wasn't aware of that. Uh, it's actually on 20% off discount, so <laughs> they'll be getting that. I, I'm gonna have to look up Zero Cleaner 4. I don't remember it. Yeah, I can probably show you something of it. And uh, oh, uh, someone is streaming that. Let's. Okay, that that looks a lot. That looks a lot more impressive visually. From. Uh, okay, let's just hide that. And does this have co-op? Perhaps. Uh, uh, no, sadly not. That that would have been interesting to if this game had co-op. But yeah, just add the cart, and I'll finish that in a moment. For now, though, let's finish this off instead. And we'll do that by opening up the browser. Moving that over here. And let's have a look. Uh, of course, screen share. <clears throat> Pardon there. There, Twitch. Okay, let's have ourselves a look. Uh, da, 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 the Torpid Typist is streaming The Dig. Uh, hmm. I think I might have heard of a an old game like that. Let me take a peek. Uh, okay, not what I was expecting, but it seems that they're... Oh yeah, they're on their pre-stream still. Okay. Alien Scum with two... Uh, is that... Is that a reference to... Monkey Island, maybe? Mon yeah. Which, again, the scum, the scum comes from the music engine, or whatever you would call that, that they used in the first game. And the second, I believe. Okay. Uh, then we have Chaos D1, who is streaming Septera Core Legacy of the Creator. Can't say I know anything of that. Uh, then we have Derpy Doo, who is again streaming Valheim, or they I, they were streaming that earlier as well. Let me check. How long have they they've been streaming that for four hours? <laughs> it's okay. a good game. Yeah. I, it's only recently I started to only play a little sh shorter amount due to well, not much. I. I feel like I do it. I feel like I want a more experience in it multiplayer with you and such. Yeah. Uh, then we have Viking Blonde, who is on his pre-stream or pre-gameplay chat. Uh, he has been streaming Rain World recently, which is not a game I think I know. I might have heard of it in a video like last year or something, but it looks interesting at the least. Uh, then we have Karen A, who is again streaming World of Final Fantasy Maxima. Halloween 4545 is streaming Total Warhammer 3. And then we have Big V Streams, who is streaming Morrowind again. Mm, I, I don't remember where who this was again. Let me like take a peek. Oh, oh actually, I, I think I think I remember now. Uh, I think this is sort of a or. Is this the correct one? I, I know there was a a sort of group uh, channel that uh, had been playing D and D games, sort of multiplayer and old games. I mean, and this might be them. I don't actually remember. Uh, let's see. For variety streaming, uh, being rubbish at stealth. <laughs> Have we found my long lost brother or something here <laughs> or sister? I forget uh, who they. You, I've, I've got everything muted at the moment, but uh, yeah, I, I think I want to. Yes, I want to say we should raid Viking Blonde since well, they also have a bit of a pirate theme going on, and I just want to. I just want to hear what he has to say about Return to Monkey Island. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. And it has been a bit since we've raided them. Okay, there we go. Copy. Then slash raids and Viking Blonde. Okay, but before that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, 
I, I am a little bit sad that we are now done with this series, but I'm still glad that we have we have experienced it. Most of it. Yeah, same here. Same here. I kind of hope they might be able to remaster the older ones so everyone can experience them, especially the one we had to abandon. Yeah, they definitely they that definitely deserves a redo. Maybe maybe they can keep the graphics somewhat chunky, but that they fix the underlying issues and modernize it somewhat. Yeah, uh, possibly. Oh yeah, for now, let's start the raids and let's see. We've done three streams now today, or not today, this week now. Uh, so we'll probably have we have plenty of opportunities tomorrow and the day after we have three opportunities to be specific to uh, do streams but i say we have at least one of those as a rest day or hmm, maybe just go easy and do one stream each we'll see we'll see what uh, our fancy will be but for now thank you all again and until next time uh, uh, hmm. Actually, yeah, let, let's end it on here so we still have the music. <laughs> if the game will show. There we go. Uh, there. Uh, yeah. Thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone. I watch out for free hell monkeys. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't actually have that happen here. Uh, Only my words. <laughs> Laters. Laters. Alligators.